Thinking about tough times in the past. Kids at school were mean about my weight. None of them were still breathing. And my dad, who was my main family, was guilty for my fatness because he had the secret recipe to make poison ice cream too. And he was too, he was too carefree with me. I don't understand. Did, did he move me from that convent because of that recipe? It's sad because he never really loved me. As a parent, he, he seemed more interested in being famous and rich. And my mom, the only one who actually cared about me, was a crazy nun who treated me like a girl. Is she still alive? Did she kill my dad for revenge? And if my real dad wasn't Joseph, was he that evil lord named Baphomet? Yeah, whatever I try to do, I can't undo the mistakes of the past. Life feels meaningless. My revenge. In my dreams, like ice cream on a summer night, or melting away. We both know quite well worldly matters are handled with care. With care. But shall we embark, Brother Nazareth, and take on the dare? Sister, it's been a while since our talk began. Can't say your real name. You still hidden in the shape of a magical cup? What's your suggestion? What's your plan? You incredible creature you brought to life inside Sister Madeline is showing true repentance. Don't you think he deserves one more chance? I can't do anything. That intellectual animal has made too many mistakes. From the moment he was born, a special fate. I protected him from her mother with my rules, but she confused Nazrat with Baphomet. Can she be more full? Rod had good karma, but he already spent it. I can't do more, sister. My hell has already ended. They are all living beings, just trying to stay alive. If we help them forward, for sure they'll survive. They need us. We need them. We share one objective. If they succeed, we'll return to heaven. It's our incentive. Let life itself be their teacher. See you soon, my dear sister. Joseph, for some reason. 
Finally, I can hug you again. I am very sorry for everything that happened. Please forgive me. I love you. You are my mother? Yes, it's me. Finally, I recognize you as my son, a grown man. I hope we get to know each other in the afterlife. Mom! Dad! We were so worried. You just disappeared without saying anything to us. Uh, but Jay, what happened? You have also gained a lot of weight. Is that possible? My goodness. Ah, Chloe, stop. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> It has been quite the adventure. I'll tell you everything when we get home.